Hey guys, welcome to episode 23 of Autograph Diaries 2019. Without any further ado, let's just get straight on with it, shall we? I hope you enjoy. Today is Monday the 3rd of June, and today I received two envelopes of autographs in the post. The first one is actually a TTM success from America, from actor Tim Allen, who I do have a million times. This time round, I sent him this DVD sleeve of Toy Story 1. Now, you're not going mad, I did have one exactly like this, but I did sell it. However, I've decided to start it again because I now want to get a multi-sign DVD sleeve. So the next person I'm going to send this to is probably going to be Annie Parks, who plays Bo Peep. So yeah, you might see this in a future video. But I'm very happy to have it again, so thank you very much Tim. Tim also signed a photo that I sent to him, this time of Toy Story 4. As you can see, signed it just there over water. And I'm very happy with this, even though it is very hard to see in person. Again, I might send this out to Annie Parks, who plays Bo Peep, so I might send it with the DVD. Might as well. But while we're on the subject of Bo Peep, what the fuck has happened to her face? She looks totally different there to there. She's had a bastard facelift. What the fuck? But yeah, I'm very happy to add Tim to my collection again. I think he's a fucking amazing actor. And of course, Toy Story is one of my favourite films. So yeah, TTM success from the amazing Tim Allen. The second envelope I received today contained a TTM success from the amazing Jennifer Tilly. Now, I sent Jennifer four photos and they were all returned unsigned, along with a letter saying that Jennifer is currently unable to sign my photos, but they've sent me this 10 by 8 photo signed by Jennifer instead, which is pretty cool I suppose, but I would have preferred to get my own photo signed like I did last time. But anyway, the photo that they sent is this one here, which I'm not really a massive fan of, to be honest. So yeah, I'm very happy to add this to my collection, although like I said, I would have preferred that she signed my photos again. But yeah, TTM success from the amazing Jennifer Tilly. Today is Tuesday the 4th of June, and today I received two envelopes of autographs in the post, and one package. So the package was actually a Depop purchase of this CD, signed by the brilliant... So the package was actually a Depop purchase of this CD, signed by singer Tom O'Dell. Now, I will admit, I've not actually heard any Tom O'Dell music at all in my life, but this was extremely cheap, so I thought, why not buy it and give the album a go? If I don't like it, I will sell it anyway, so... It's not like I've actually lost any money. But yeah, as you can see, it's signed on the front of his album, Ron Crowd, signed Tom O'Dell. And like I said, I haven't actually heard any of this album at all. In fact, I haven't heard any of his songs whatsoever. But the fact he's got a song called Dada makes me like him already, because, you know, everybody loves a Dada. I fucking love a Dada. But anyway, that's a different story. But like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet. It all depends on whether I like his music. So we'll see about that. But the first one is Tom O'Dell. The second autograph I received today was actually a TTM success from an actor that I've already got in my collection twice previously. It's from the amazing Tom Goodman Hill, who I know best for playing Reverend Golightler in Doctor Who, the episode The Unicorn and the Wasp. But I also know him best for playing, I can't remember his name, but he was the husband in the recent series Cheat, which was absolutely fucking amazing. I loved it so much. That's the only reason I wrote to him again, to be honest. But I also know him for Humans, who plays Joe. Is his name Joe? I don't even fucking remember. As you can see, I'm such a massive fan. But yeah, Tom signed two photos for me that I sent to him. This one here, Daniel, all the best, Tom Goodman Hill. And this photo here, Daniel with best wishes, Tom Goodman Hill. This only took a few weeks and I'm very happy with them. I absolutely love the way they turned out, especially this one here. So yeah, my third TTM success from the amazing Tom Goodman Hill. Thank you, Tom. And the third autograph I received today was actually a via venue success from America that only took a few weeks. But to be honest, I'd completely forgot I even sent, so this was a nice surprise from the amazing Santino Fontana. Santino is perhaps best known for voicing Hans, or Hans, whatever his name is, in Frozen. And I sent him three Frozen related items. This one here, which is signed, Daniel, I love crazy, Santino Fontana. I love his autograph, look how amazing that looks. I'm very happy with this. This one here, Santino Fontana. I'm probably gonna sell this one to be honest. So if you're interested, check out my eBay page. And he also signed the Blu-ray of Frozen, which I'm very happy with. Santino Fontana. Absolutely love this. Now, I'm not really a massive Frozen fan. I do like it. It's just not my favourite at all. But I couldn't resist the chance to write to him, especially because it meant adding another Disney star to my collection. I now have autographs from three cast members from Frozen, the others being Josh Gad as Olaf and Idina Menzel as Elsa. And yeah, I'm very happy to add Santino to my collection. Thank you, Santino. Today is Wednesday the 5th of June, and today I received four envelopes of autographs in the post, all of which I've opened off camera. So the first envelope was actually an eBay purchase of two autographs from the cast of Emmerdale, both signed in person at the British Soap Awards. So the first one is this one here of the amazing Isabel Steele, who plays Liv in the show. I'm not even going to try and pronounce her surname, but she plays Liv, and I absolutely love Liv. She's one of my favourite characters. I think she's fucking brilliant. 
And yeah, as you can see, it signed just there. It does not look like it says Isabel's deal at all. But it's definitely signed by her, because like I said, it was signed in person at the British Soap Awards. So yeah, brand new cast card for my collection. The amazing Isabel Steele. And the second eBay purchase that I got from the same seller is this cast card signed by the amazing Leslie Dunlop, who plays Brenda. I'm not really a massive fan of Brenda, she really gets on my fucking nerves at times. But I think Leslie is an amazing actress and I've wanted her autograph for a very long time. So when I saw both of these pop up on eBay, I had to get them, even though it cost me £18 for both, which is quite steep in my opinion. But also, it's two that I've not got and two that I don't really reply in the post. So, I couldn't resist getting them, to be honest with you. So yeah, eBay purchases of Isabel Steele and Leslie Dunlap. The second envelope I received today contained a TTM success from January from another Emmerdale star, this time from the amazing Rick Macarum, who signed four photos that I sent to him. This one here, to Daniel, my best TA, Rick Macarum. Sorry for the background noise, guys. There's an ice cream van, and I really want an ice cream now. You bastard. This one here, Daniel, best wishes, Rick Macarum. This one here, to Daniel, thank you, Rick Macarum. And this one just here. To Daniel, thank you, Rick Macaroon. Of course, I know him best for playing Nikhil Sharma in Emmerdale, but he's also known for things like Sarah Jane Adventures, I believe. And I'm not even going to pretend to know what else, to be honest, because I don't really give a shit. I only know him for Emmerdale. And yeah, I'm very happy to add him to my collection. As well as signing the four photos, he also wrote a short note on the back of my letter, but I can't show you that because it does have my address on. But he basically put, thank you for this letter and supporting me, and then signed it, which you're very welcome. Clearly you appreciated my letter because you've clearly sent it back to me, but whatever. I'm very happy with it. So yeah, TTM success from the amazing Rick Macarum, who should definitely return to Emmerdale because Nick Hill was much better than Jay in my opinion. Jay's a twat, I can't stand him. Please come back, Rick. Please. The third envelope I received today contains a TTM success from April from EastEnders actress Priya Davdra, who plays Ikra Ahmed in the show. I now have both Ahmed sisters, Ikra and Habiba. Habiba is played by... Oh, fuck, I can't remember her name. Roku Nahar, I believe. I have no idea. But yeah, I'm very happy to add Priya to my collection. I think Ikra is an amazing character, although I do prefer Habiba, I won't lie. But I think she's absolutely brilliant. Priya is also an amazing actress, and I'm very happy with this. I love the card. I do wish it was personalised, but what can you do? I'm very happy with it nonetheless. So yeah, third autograph is Priya Davdra. Thank you, Priya. And the fourth and final envelope I received today contained a TTM success from May, from the amazing Colin Baker. Colin signed two photos that I sent to him. This I must love to get me out of her photo. To Daniel, Colin Baker. And then he's put number six because, of course, he played the sixth Doctor in Doctor Who. And the second photo he signed is the one of me and him from when I met him at Loughborough Comic Con last November. For Daniel, Colin Baker. As far as I can see, he hasn't put his Doctor number on this one, which is a bit weird considering there's Doctor photos on the table, but whatever. I'm very happy with this. I was not expecting Colin to reply at all. I've wrote to him a few times in the past and never had anything. So I'm fucking thrilled to get this back. I actually did see Colin again last Saturday at Collectomania in Birmingham, although I didn't actually go over for an autograph. I'm kind of glad I didn't, to be honest, because when I met him here, I paid £20 for that photo and then £20 for an autograph. So I gave him 40 quid that day. And now he's replied to my letter for free. So thank you, Colin. I'm very happy with this. Just like Rick a second ago, Colin also wrote a short note on my letter, which again I can't show you because it's got my address on. Colin wrote my pleasure and then signed it on my letter. So very happy with this. So yeah, TTM success from the amazing Colin Baker. Today is Friday the 7th of June and today I received two envelopes of autographs in the post. Both envelopes contained autographs that were a gift from a friend. So the first envelope contained these two cards signed by the amazing Liam Payne. So this one here. And this one here, same card, but different signature. This was a gift from my friend Mark of Mark's Autograph Collection, who is currently selling seven of these on his eBay page. So if you're interested in buying one, then please head over to Mark's eBay page. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I'll also leave a link to Mark's Instagram page, where he's also selling them there. So thank you very much for these, Mark. I love Leon Payne, as you know, so I'm very happy to add these to my collection. They are official postcards as well, which is really cool. So yeah, the first one is Leon Payne. Also in the envelope from Mark was an autograph from the amazing Joanne Clifton. Now Mark and Paul of McTree's autographs went to meet Joanne and Duncan James at a stage door during the week. And Mark very kindly got me this autograph from Joanne. Obviously I know Joanne best for being a professional dancer on Strictly Come Dancing and I'm very happy to add her to my collection. I think she's brilliant. So thank you very much for these Mark. I really appreciate it. 
The Amazing, Liam Payne and Joanne Clifton. Thanks, Mark. And the second envelope is also a gift from a friend, this time from Paul of Milk Trees Autographs, who, like I said, went to a stage door with Mark of Mark's Autograph Collection to meet the amazing Joanne Clifton and the amazing Duncan James. Paul very kindly got me this autograph from Duncan, which, you know me, you know how much I love this photo. Whew, fit as fuck. But yeah, I'm very happy to add Duncan to my collection again. I have written to him in the past, never had a reply, but I do have him on a multi-sign blue photo. But I think this is my very first solo, Duncan. So thank you very much, Paul. I absolutely love it. Paul also sent me a letter, which I'm going to keep private. But thank you very much, Paul. I really appreciate it. So yeah, second envelope contained a gift from a friend of the amazing Duncan James. Thanks again, Paul. Today is Saturday the 8th of June, and today I received four envelopes of autographs in the post. Three TTM successes and one eBay purchase. I'm going to show you the eBay purchase first. So the eBay purchase is this piece of paper signed by the amazing Jodie Whittaker. Now this is a full signature which I absolutely love and I'm thrilled to have found this. I actually have to give a shout out to my friend Mark of Mark's Autograph Collection because he actually found this and sent me the link. He knew how much I wanted Jodie's full signature. I would have preferred it on a photo but I couldn't say no to this because it was really cheap and of course she's one of my favourite actresses even before she became the Doctor in Doctor Who. I have written to Jodie several times in the past and I've never had a reply, which really fucks me off because some people actually wrote based on the fucking Doctor Who trailer before she was even the Doctor and that's all they knew her for and they got a reply and that fucking wound me right up, especially because I've been a fan for years and years and years and I've seen and loved her in so much stuff and I've wrote many letters over the years, never had a fucking reply, yet some people got a fucking reply based on the 30 second bastard trailer. Fucking taking the piss. But anyway, I'm very happy to add Jodie to my collection finally. I think she's fucking amazing. She's absolutely incredible. And I'm very excited to see the next series of Doctor Who. I will be sticking this to a back of a Doctor Who photo so it can go in my Doctor Who folder because of course Jodie is the 13th Doctor. And I'm very happy with this. So yeah, thank you very much, Mark, for sending me the link. I hope you get your own Jodie autograph one day. But for now, thank you very much for sending me this and making my dreams come true of getting one. Really appreciate it, mate. So yeah, the first one is an eBay purchase of Jodie Whittaker. The second envelope I received today contained a TTM success, but I don't know when I sent it because I've sent a million letters to this woman and this is the first time she's ever replied. It's from the amazing Gemma Atkinson. Gemma signed this photo for me, which I absolutely love. To Daniel, love Gemma Atkinson. Very happy with this because like I said, I've sent several letters over the bloody years. Never had a fucking reply. This is my first reply from her over the bloody moon. Love this photo so much and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So yeah, thank you very much Gemma. The third envelope I received today was also a TTM success from the amazing Gemma Atkinson, who this time signed three photos for me. This one here, to Daniel, love Gemma Atkinson, which I absolutely love. This Emmerdale photo, to Daniel, love Gemma Atkinson. Of course, she played Carly Hope in Emmerdale, and I really hope she comes back one day. And also this photo just here, signed Gemma Atkinson. I'm very happy with these, especially this one, because I've now got a personalised Emmerdale photo. Yay! So yeah, I'm very thrilled with this. Like I said, I don't remember when I sent because I've sent several letters over the bloody years. Never had a fucking reply. Typical, I got two replies on the same day. Fingers crossed to get all my others back, but if not, I'm very happy to add these to my collection regardless. So yeah, TTM success from the amazing Gemma Atkinson. Thank you, Gemma. And the fourth and final envelope I received today, which contains the final autographs I received all week, is this TTM success from the amazing Coronation Street actor, David Nielsen. David sent me this signed and personalised cast card. To Daniel, best wishes, David Nielsen. I do have this card already, but I believe I don't have a personalised version. I'm not entirely sure. If I do have an undedicated, I will be putting that one on eBay. So if you're interested, keep a look out on my eBay page. But the reason I wrote again is because I wanted to get him on this picture here, which is previously signed by Julie hesmond Haug, who played Hayley Cropper, and he's very kindly added his signature too. So I now have this photo signed by Julie and David. Of course, Roy and Hayley Cropper. And I'm very happy to add this to my collection. I did think I lost this, to be honest, and I was gutted. But I'm very happy that David finally replied. So yeah. The amazing David Nielsen. Thank you, David. So there we go. Those are all of the autographs that I received this week. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next week with another autograph update. Bye, guys. <laughs>